Hello, my friends. Am I on the right page? Am I live? Okay, here we go. I can see some people. All right. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining me. My name is Angela. I am the owner and creative uh, energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm an elite uh, retailer over here in Frankfurt in Germany. And I am also the German distribution for Dixiebel uh, in Germany. So um, welcome, welcome. And you join me, just say hi to me. Hi, Amy. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Nina. Hi, Becky. Hi, Linda. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Valerie. Guys, thank you so much for being with me. Um, as I said, when you join me, just say hi and let me know where you're watching from. And um, if you watch replay, I say that straight away, please put hashtag replay into the comments. Hi, Yvonne. And let me know where you're watching from. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I will try to answer those straight away. Also, when you uh, watch replay, just tag me so I know that you had a question. And um, yeah, just tell me if you're painting along with me tonight or what you're doing. I'm nosy. <laughs> uh, hi, Michelle. So um, we are still working on this little buffet and uh, we use the flower romance transfer on the doors on the outside. And um, tonight we are going to use the um, the lace transfer because it's a, it's a nice and fragile um, transfer. We're going to use that on the sides of the drawers. And also I had in plans to do some stenciling on the inside of the doors. I already painted those in uh, Palmetto because I think they go quite nice with the, the purplies outside and the, the green on the inside. So I've got a little bit of a, a thing going there for you. So um, hi to Ireland, New Zealand. That's great. And they lend I love them. I absolutely love them. So, um, you know, well, you, you're not always, you're sometimes surprised how they, they turn out at the end. So that's basically what happened there. So, my friends, okay. It is 9 p.m. over here. Still, I have to have some coffee. Um, this piece is not really something very special. So um, this really needs to be picked up. So the, the drawers, they've got like those, um, those sliders, they are usually screwed onto. And I'm going to keep the wood because that's pretty, you know, that's quite nice. So um, I'm going to keep that uh, and I'm going to put the transfer right onto the wood. So now I'm going to see which way to do that best. Let me check out my hands. <laughs> So that you can see what we are doing. I think, I think this way is probably going to be quite, quite all right. I'm going to put you a little higher so you can look a little further down. There we go. Instagram, get you over there. Okay. So, um, this transfer has got, um, it has got four sheets and those sheets, they basically align next to each other, but uh, still you can uh, use them in all different ways. And on this piece, I'm going to use um, just a piece of it. It doesn't matter with which one we start. Um, you can align them up to each other at the end. Um, they are numbered, which helps you, it's like for people like me, you know, they are numbered, they've got like one and two standing on there, so you know which ones to align to each other. They come on, um, um, oh, this, what is the lightest color you can put it over to be noticeable? The lightest color. You can put them also onto onto drop cloths or something like that. You can still see them. This is like a, this is like a, you know like a very delicate gray. It looks beautiful on drop cloths on on cotton or something like that. So um, it'll be noticeable. I probably would not even if you put it on grays. You you can see those. You can see those. That's um, 
because they'll be from the sheen and from the surface different than the, the color underneath. So um, always depends which, uh, which uh, look you're going for. So, okay. Um, there's a cat fight going on there. So I'm just grabbing one sheet. This is uh, one of the, this is the number one. Yeah, they come in one to four, they're numbered. Put the rest out of the way for now. They come in this tube. They also come with, uh, uh, with, with this uh, transfer stick to rub that onto your uh, oops, project. And uh, <laughs> it just dropped out of the bottom. Sorry. So that just came off the bottom. So that just <laughs> dropped out again. Um, hi, Colleen. Hi to New Jersey. So, um, New Jersey or New York? I'm sorry. No, New Jersey. I'm sure it's New Jersey. New York is the land wide. Sorry. I'm German after all, so I have to apologize. And it also comes with some instructions. All the transfers come with some instructions. So, uh, if you're not sure, hallo Ute. Um, this will, you know, this can help you. So, um, Für meine deutschen Zuschauer das gleiche machen wir am Donnerstag auch nochmal auf Deutsch, so dass, dass ihr da auch nochmal die Gelegenheit habt, das in deutscher Sprache zu sehen. I will do a live in German on Thursday for my uh, German community and uh, so that they can also, uh, hi mein Hase, also basically um, see how I do those things. Okay, those transfers, they come... They have like this white you can see at the back here. This is a protective sheet. Um, and the transfer itself is on this clear sheet. So this is like a little bit milky clear sheet. It's on there. And you transfer it over basically onto your project from, from there. So um, I'm going to cut that to size first. I'm going to get up. You don't need to see me. Yeah, I can see better from the top here. You have to see what I'm doing here, basically. So the first thing I'm doing, I'm going to, I am going to, because I want to line it right up to the front here, and there's like this, the sheet is going to the, it's, it's got like about a centimeter um, on the side. I'm going to cut that off first. When you cut your transfer, I would recommend to leave the backing on. Firstly, you can cut it easier. And secondly, um, you're not uh, in danger to touch the, the back, you know, because when you when you touch the, you should leave the transfer on the on the protective sheet till you really put it onto the uh, your project because otherwise it'll stick to your fingers and stuff like that and then it'll it'll be ruined so that's the first thing i am doing and i'm not worried about having it uh, right to the end because those straws don't slide out completely so this would be a waste of time you know there's there, those sliders are screwed on here and the drawers only come out about half, so um, that'll be a waste of time to to put that right to the end of the of the of that uh, drawer. So now I'm just marking myself because I don't want to waste any of the transfer, so that it slightly overlaps. I've got like a little bit of a. Um, a little bit of, um, well, of, you know, German, you say meat, you know, there's like a little bit of a hangover there. So I, don't know, I don't know if I said that correctly, if that makes any sense. So I'm just marking it here with my scissors. You can mark it with a pen. I'm marking it there with the scissors. That's where I'm going to do my first cut. So then I'm folding it over. As this side is um, it's not the cut one, so this is about, if I fold it up like this, it should be straight. It should be straight. It should be straight. Just put a crease on there. So let's just 
check that it's good. So I don't want to waste any of that transfer. And now I'm just going to cut that along here. This is going to go slightly around the, the edge at the end. You can cut those easily with some scissors, as you can see. Make sure you've got some sharp scissors. That helps, definitely. So now I can start. I start with that one. Now I know that I want to put it on. I'm just taking the protective sheet off and I'm just aligning it on the edge here. So then I'm just putting it down, running my hand over it so it's got good contact to the to the surface. And then I'm grabbing my uh, transfer stick. I'm grabbing my transfer stick and I'm starting to rub that on. This goes just like slightly around that corner. So when I have a little bit on, I'm just like lifting, I'm just grabbing one of the ends or the end basically and while rubbing I'm slowly moving it back. If if there is like something not sticking properly, I'm basically just laying it back down. Could be around the edge here also. As I said, if it doesn't stick properly, just lay it back down. And um, so, on this wood, it has been cleaned with white lightning. I cleaned the whole piece with white lightning inside out. This was a smeller. This is not a bleeder, this is a smeller. So, um, I've cleaned it and I've bossed it inside out. So, because um, boss is basically for. For stains, you know, if you have a bleeder or if you have like uh, stains which might bleed through, and it is for smells, you know, if, uh, if it smells of whatever, if it was standing in a barn or if it was, um, if it was um, from a smoker household, this this was from a smoker household, so this is uh, smelling of smoke or was smelling of smoke. So you can seal basically the smell in with the with the with the boss. So so they release ever so easy from this backing. Even this is like you know a small area and a little bit tricky. And uh, when you've got it down. You can use your fingers to make sure it's touched basically or it's on the surface everywhere. I like to take I like to take the sheet it was on. So um, um Patricia, I'm sure you can. If you go to your to the um Dixie Bell, can you put the can you put the link to the um, where they can find the local retailer for Canada in? I'm sure that you can get that uh, transfer in Canada. I'm over here in Germany, so in Europe. So the reason I like to take that sheet um, because I want to make sure there's like no grease from my hands or something like that is coming on there. So that's how sweet that looks. That is so pretty. So, hi Sarah. <laughs> so, that's the first thing. Now I'm going to cut the second. Do the same thing. Align it on here. Just put like a, a scissor mark here. As I said, you can use a pen or something like that. You can measure it can measure it that would be like the most elegant way to do that I'm not a measurer you know me I'm not a measurer I'm an eyeballer and I always look for easy ways to um, 
to get to that solution. So that's the way I do it. And put a crease on there. Just double check it's wide enough. It is. I just want to do a little bit overlapping over the edge, you know, because I don't want to leave uh, a gap on there. If it goes over the edge, that's fine, but I don't need to fill that in in the middle, you know, because there's like this uh, slider going on and that's not, um, not necessary to be covered. And this is a centimeter basically you can use for another project, you know, every, every bit which is left over from the transfers, even the tiniest one, I am keeping. I always keep the bits, whatever, if I use my goodie bands or my transfers, all leftovers, I am keeping. So um, that's basically what I do this way around. And same thing. Now I know where I'm going. I can take the protective sheet off, make sure I'm not touching. I'm not touching, I'll do that from the other side, that's easier. I'm not touching the transfer itself. And then I gently, carefully lay that down here and commit. If you have like a bigger area when you, where you put the transfer on, um, I would always recommend to start uh, rubbing um, on one end towards the other end or start in the middle and spread out to the sides. Don't start from one end and you know then from the other end to try to meet in the middle because uh, there's like when it releases there's like a um, an air bubble crawling underneath basically and you may might get like um, like a, a bubble in the middle so same thing rubbing it on get it out of the corner So then I grab an end and while I'm rubbing, I'm gently lifting it up. If an area doesn't release straight away, I put it back down and go from there. And as I said, it releases ever so, ever so easy. Ever so easy. There we go. A little bit around that edge, which is the bottom uh, edge of the drawer anyway, so that's not that important. It's just like here. I cut it a little wider than this uh, strip is, just to make sure that the drawer is covered and um, this corner here. And put it right there. So completely now it's done. So just make sure, as I said, I like to take the that uh, sheet, it was uh, basically on to make sure it's got good contact. So. And the wood look, looks quite nice, you know, that's the reason I didn't want to paint the drawers on the outside. I like to keep them na natural, basically. So when I've got it down, I just grab my finishing pad, also by Dixie Bell. It's like uh, this uh, spongy, Buffing pad. Patricia, can you use these on top of a table? Definitely. You're going to seal it afterwards. You can definitely um, 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 Sarah, this is the the um, 
No, this is the uh, the lace transfer. This is the lace transfer by Bells and Whistles. So um, that's the one I'm using here. So then I'm just going over it with the um, finishing pad. Make sure it's all on there, especially around the corners, you know. You know make sure that they are nicely on. And uh, that's basically how you, oops, careful. There's like a splinter coming off the, um, the draw. And that's what it looks like. So wherever, however the light lights hit light hits it, you can see better or more. I'm not worried about the back here because the the draw um, it's going to be it's like a, a slider and it's going to be screwed on that slider, and um, oh and a mirror, um, so you won't uh, see the back anyway. Do the same thing on the other side. Do the same thing on the other side. Cut that a little, a little further. Let's cut that a little further. So I'm just cutting the protective sheet right up to the transfer because I want to line it up right onto the draw. You know, if if I have this gap here, I have to fold it up, and that's not uh, not that that much fun. So, same thing, same thing, basically making sure I have cut the area where I want to fold that up on this side. As I said, you can measure, you can use a pen to mark it. I'll make a, I'll make a crease mark. That's for me the easiest way. Check if it's wide enough. If, if it's a, I'd rather have it a little wider than to, um, than not wide enough because I want to sh uh, basically cover the side of the draw. If you want to have um, but I'm not worried about at the moment with this one. If you want to have like the it continued on the side when you have like all the drawers open and it looks like one continuous um, pattern, you do the whole thing on one on the one side of the whole drawers and then the other side. I'm not doing with this one. So go from here. Start at the bottom. So put that down quickly. Cut that a bit too. That's that's too much. So I'm just uh, making it easy on me. Don't need it around this edge. So I'm just cutting that off here. And that's the bottom of the drawer. That's easier. So I'm first trying to get like a bit of it down, then I'm grabbing the end of the sheet and pull it back while I'm rubbing and releasing the transfer on the surface. If there's some of the transfer lifting up, I'm putting it back down. And go from there. They're so easy to use, guys. And they're so versatile. There's loads of things you can do with them. There's loads of things you can do. So, down, 
Hold the backing. Make sure it's got good contact. So, and now the other bit. Where did I put it? Nobody leaves the room. Where did I put the transfer? There it is. Okay. Now there's only like a small, small bit I need. Same thing. Cut it on the edge. Go from here. Fold it. Just double check when I've got it folded that it's um, towards the end also wide enough for my drawer, which it is. And then I'm going to cut that at the crease. I want to have as less um, waste as possible with this one. I can always use the bits and pieces this uh, are the same. Now finished, take that off, line it on here on the edge. So you can reposition it as long you haven't um, pushed it down onto the surface. Now I'm going to commit, slide my fingers over it just to down. So. so same thing. Get one of the edges down. Lift the protective sheet up while I'm rubbing on the back, making sure the contact on the piece or down on the project. And this would adhere to the bare wood also, you know. I mean, there's there's boss on there, as I said, because um, this piece is smelly, so I bossed it inside out all the way around to seal the smell in. So, and that's basically what we're going to do with the all the drawers. I'm just going to show you that one drawer. That's fine, you know. You basically, you know where we are going. This is going to go all the way down at the end. Go, when you have it down, just uh, go over it with your fingers, always a protective sheet to make sure it's all the way down. And then I come in with my finishing pad. To rub that right in. That's it. So. That's basically what it looks like now. There we go. That's it. So that's the, the thing which is going to be done to all the drawers going the way down. I'm going to slide that in and then we're going to do a little bit of stenciling. A little bit of stenciling. side of the drawers here. I thought that looks quite cute. Okay, love the drawers. Thank you, sir. So now, what I have in mind, what I have in mind, so come down to my level, guys. Come down to me. So, the inside of this door, I'm going to Nice thing about those doors, you can take them out. So 
So this is already painted in uh, Palmetto. So let's paint it in Palmetto. Let's see if you can see, there you go. And I'm going to use, I want to use the um, Helms Tooth stencil by Dixie Bell. Also from the Bells and Whistles range. They are, turn around, I want to have it this way around. So, let's see. I'm going to line that about on the sides, on the top, on the sides, on the top. So this one has already been used, as you can see, um, the paint already dried on there. So do as I say, not as I do. Keep um, a water bucket close to you and clean those straight away and don't do not do talking and stuff like that. Um, that's uh, not very good if it dries in. So I have, I have made myself a mixture because I don't just want to have like a slight sheen. I don't want to have it like um, like too strong. Thank you, Dixie Bell. Thank you, Emily. You're sweet. <laughs> I made a mixture of clear coat gloss and the Moonshine Metallics dog jacket. Okay. Um, and the Moonshine Metallic Deep Woods because that goes beautifully with the um, with the palmetto. I made a mixture about two to one. It's about um, two top coat and one of the Moonshine Metallics. So, don't do talking, wash your stencils. Yes. <laughs> Michelle, do as I say, not as I do, as per usual. So, and for stenciling itself, I've this is uh, one of my blue Gator Height sponges. As you can see, this one has been used quite a lot also. There's already some crystals in there, so it's not very, I'm not using it anymore um, uh, for Gator Height, you know, for to put on the top or something like that, because those, are going to leave marks you know so i'm not using it for that anymore but you don't need to throw it you can use it for stenciling also this is what we're going to do if this gets a little juicy that's no problem that's fine you can either touch it up or you can um whatever leave it um depends what look you are going for and i am mixing it up those products they're all water-based the top coat gloss is water based and also the um, also the Moonshine Metallics. So I want to have a bit of a sheen on there, but I don't want to have too much. So I'm just mixing it up nicely. That's what you should do with all the water based products to make sure that uh, you get all the benefits. So, so then I'm just going to Put some on here. Still looks pretty rich. Let's see. Let's see. There. So, and as I said, then I'm going to use my uh, Gator Height sponge for uh, um, stenciling. So, I'm dabbing it in here. I'm not going to leave it like that. This is just too much of the product. So, I'm wiping it off. I'm wiping it off and then I'm just like gently dabbing on my surface to give it like a little, a little sheen. And if it's not covered 100%, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. just gonna give it like a little shimmer that's the inside of the piece guys you know so you know me I just like to I like to give it uh, always something on the inside either with some stripes or some um, 
some of the here we go you can use a stencil brush obviously I'm using the Gatorade sponge today this is a, a worn out one so that's what we are going for and the mixture is uh, the Moonshine Metallics Deep Boots and um, Top Coat Gloss. That one I'm not um, putting on my face. Pick some more up, wipe it off on the on the um, on that plate. I'll put it out. I don't want to have it too juicy. Then just I'm just going around in a dabbing motion. I'm not going in a swirly motion. Motion. I'm going in a dabbing motion because I don't want to push it under the edges of that stencil. I'm gonna do that all the way around. Said if it's not covered 100 percent that's fine. So this is just gonna give it a little bit of a sheen. That's the look I'm going for. So in all the products they are water-based. If there's any questions, guys, I'm going to come back for them in a minute. This is so soothing. I love stenciling. Who loves stenciling? I love stenciling. Who loves stenciling? Oops. I think I'm going to break my chair in a minute. You don't need much of the product also. So always lift a bit up of the of the paint and then I'm wiping it off on the on that plate. I don't want to have it too juicy. And then I just go around in the dabbing motion. Almost finished, three quarters already done. What's the time? 40 minutes. That's good. That's good. Oops, I lifted it just up a little. So, and this is I mean, I like this pattern. This is this is a beautiful pattern, you know. But uh, for some, if it is too, just too bulky for you, um, in one go, you know, just do like uh, like I'm doing at the moment. This is just going to be like a slight shimmer, and depending how the light is going to hit it, you're going to see it or not. Gonna need a little more. Let's see. A little more. Let's see if I can get this thing here finished. And that's the reason I've um, basically mixed the um, deep woods with the top coat gloss. It's still pretty rich, but I just want to have just like a, a slight shimmer basically. And you can wash that sponge out afterwards, you know, that's, uh, this is going to come, come out nicely. This is, is water-based also, so you can, can um, wash that out. So 
And this is a good um, a good use for your worn out um, data height sponges. For stenciling, you can you know you can easily also um, cut them in small pieces um, for smaller stencils and stuff like that. So um, that also works beautifully. You know me, I always like to reuse my stuff. I'm going to need a little more. Mix it up again because they separate uh, pretty quickly the um, metallic and the top coat. So, but you can see how um, how little you need of that uh, product. Wipe it off. Wipe it off. From there. Almost finished. I'm going to reveal it. <laughs> Dog tooth, I don't know. Hound tooth, that's basically, that's what it's called. That's what it is called by Dixiebel, and that's, um, also, what do we call that in German? It's basically the same. It's basically the same. So, last area. And then we're going to lift that up. Let's see how that turned out. So, put that to the side and reveal time, reveal time. There's some of that white paint of that, um, but uh, there you can basically see what I meant. So this is basically the way or whatever way the light hits it, you're going to see it or you're not going to see it. So that's uh, just very, very. Thank you, Linda. So that's the outside. That's the outside. That's a floral romance one sheet and on the inside when you open up the door you have like the that little shimmer of the of the okay my friends once a time 45 minutes that's pretty good that's pretty good. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Susan. That's sweet. Thank you, Liz. That was so kind, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Always just like little bits and pieces, uh, making progress on this project. Um, having like, you know, I like to have it busy, you know, all like different things on it. So this is going to be the inside of the doors. We're going to do that in the German Live on Thursday also. So, oh, hi, Dana. Thank you for joining. Oh, Jill, I didn't see you. Um, that's good you're there. So, my friends, uh, my name is Angela. I'm the owner and creative energy from Elfen Helden. I'm an elite uh, retailer over here in Frankfurt, in Germany. And I am also, for Germany, the distribution for um, Dixiebel paints. I was so proud. So, basically, I'm also 
um, here for the whole community of us retailers in Germany. So they are all amazing artists also. So I'm very happy to represent them basically also. Guys, if you want to shop the products, pop over to the um, Dixieville page and check out your local retailer. They all have all the products I'm using and make sure that you support them. Every one of us needs it. Hello, Silke. So um, I appreciate you being with me tonight. Um, I'll see you next Tuesday. And um, yeah, if you, if you want to sprinkle this video, um, you're very welcome. And if you haven't done it yet, please pop over to my page. Leave me a like that. That would be absolutely fantastic. Guys, you take care. I'm wishing you a great day, afternoon, evening, wherever you're watching from. It is uh, 10 to 10 p.m. over here. So I'm going to clean up and uh, get ready for bed. And I'll see you next week. Take care, guys. Bye. Thank you, Emily. Gute Nacht, Miri.